Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World. Um, so last time we finished up Chocolate Island and now we're here. World 7, the final world. And Bowser's neon Las Vegas-like castle in his cavern of Bowserness. Let's just go. Alright, and that guy's stuck in there. Whoops! Sorry about your bad luck, Mr. Monty Mole. Mega Mole. Yeah. So this is kind of a maze. But it's not a maze. Oh my gosh, what was that all about? Wow. Well, that happened. And you know what? I could cut that out, but I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to keep it in so you can all see the crazy stuff that just happened there. Come on. There you go. Walk into the block like an idiot. What's over here anyway? Nothing. Nothing over here. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a bunch of blocks and charging chucks, but a block that I can use to get rid of you, which I'm going to do. And there's a dragon coin. Yay! A dragon coin. I'm so happy to have found that dragon coin. Oh gosh! Don't land on my head. That's not very nice. And you come back here. You have not freed me yet. The good thing about this is they drop in such a way. Power up! Yay! Want it? Give, give me, give me, give me, give me. I don't believe. Oh yes, you can. Oh well, I learned something new. I didn't think you could kill those guys. That's it. Walk into my block. So as you can see, there's various different paths you can go in. There's the um, midpoint. Would you be mad if I told you I don't remember how to get to the secret exit? Oh, but I found that one three up moon. That was nice. Come back here, you moles. You think you're so cool, but you're not that cool. Oh, well, that's how you get to the uh, midpoint. And now, let's see. I don't believe there's a, oh, nothing up there, so you c that's how you get to the midpoint. <laughs> if you're, oh gosh, if you're so inclined to go after it. And that's another couple of dead ends. Oh yeah, so here, yeah, we got a do that and we gotta get back up there somehow like that that's a good way to get back up there cross over this little bridge oh what did you do that for you stupid f why 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 would you do that okay so hit this block and there will be a vine Wait, is there even a secret exit in this one? There isn't, is there? Why am I worrying about finding a secret exit? No wonder I couldn't remember where it was because there isn't one. Whoops. I missed that one. You know, we totally need these one-ups. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. I need them. I need them to live, and it brings us all the way back here. Great, but that's okay. And we're running out of time. That's not so okay. Let's just get out of here. There is a way to get over that gap, but... Oh, gosh. I just barely made it over that one. Oh, you poop. Fine, I'll do it the hard way. Fine. I don't even care. Let's just go. 
Let's just do it. Wah. Oh no. That I believe is the exit. So now you see what you can. Yes, there's the the sign that says exit is this way, and there it is. Okay, well, we made it out of that one. So you can see it's easy to get turned around, but it's fairly it's still fairly linear. It's not so bad. Bonus game. Well, oh, I got a little ahead of myself there. But I'll take those five extra lives. I'm not complaining. Okay, on to Valley of Bowser 2, which does have a secret exit. And it's another one of these levels with, um, you know, the thing. The thing is what I'm trying to say. No, 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 no. We don't want you guys mixing up. So, the thing is, if ever a yellow Koopa... Okay. If you have one of those little shellless Koopa guys walking around and they have yellow boots, if they jump into any shell, it's going to turn into a rainbow shell, a disco shell, whatever you want to call it. I've heard it both ways. But um, it doesn't matter if he's yellow and he jumps into a green shell, like, oh gosh, I don't want that. Um, it'll turn into a, a rainbow shell. That's how it works. It's not... I don't believe it works the same. Oh, well, if I had brought Yoshi in there, that would have that would have been nice, but I did not. There's Okay, that was a feather. Uh and I totally forgot what I was just talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work if like a a guy a green Koopa with green shoes jumps into a yellow shell. I don't I don't believe it works that way. Or, you know, I could have that totally mixed up and it could be the complete opposite of what I just said. Who knows? Find out for yourself next time on You Play Your Own Game and figure out things that I tell you if they're right or not. Because I ain't got the time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I made myself feel bad. I can't believe I just said that. Okay, so don't go on the bottom path there, because that would be bad. You would die. Well, no, you probably would die if you got all the way to the end of there. And this one's a little tricky, but you can make it. It's okay. This one you have to, you can't go forward. You have to wait for it to go back down. And you must go through here when the yellow section is going up. If you try going when it's going down, you will die. And the top part there is um, a dead end, and the top part here is a dead end. And when I say dead, I mean dead. But we're moving along. Very nice. And you just gotta get through it. And there we go. Now here, we'll go for, let's do the regular ending, or regular exit. Why do I keep saying ending? There's no ending. The game is not over. Ah. But yeah, there's the regular exit. Maybe it's just that we're so close to the end. Who knows? Maybe I'm just nuts. That's also a distinct possibility. Anyway, let's come back through here. And unfortunately, we've got to go through the entire stage all over again. But you know what? We could test out that theory, couldn't we? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Well, maybe we can't. Well, there's a little yellow guy. You know what? I'm not going to waste time with it. Well, maybe I will. Oh, he's right there. Let's just do it. Let's just see what happens. 
Oh, he jumped into it. Nope, see? Okay, I was right. It does turn into a disco shell, rainbow shell, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I didn't get that in time. See, I wasn't crazy after all. I remembered something correctly, guys. This doesn't happen very often. I'm just saying. And this part sucks. Of course, with those wings, you could just bring Yoshi through here and end and, and the stage that way. If you wanted to. In fact, that's actually the method I most suggest you do. Most suggest you do? Does that even make sense? Is that even a thing? Is that correct grammar? I don't know. But the most... My most... Oh, forget it. The thing I think you should do, which would be best, is to bring Yoshi. Because then you get a bunch of coins, and you end up with a blue Yoshi. And blue Yoshis are awesome. So I don't think I've talked much about the different colored Yoshis, because they haven't really shown up yet. Most of them don't show up until star world and i'll wait until we get to that point uh before i talk more about the different colored yoshis but you can get blue yoshis out they're the only other type of yoshi other than green you can get outside of star world and what the blue yoshi does is whatever color shell it eats um you gain flight it does not matter what color shell... Uh, I thought it was dead there for a second. doesn't matter what color shell. It could be red, green, yellow, blue, of course, or even the rainbow shell. I don't know if I've talked about the rainbow shell either, but the rainbow shell um, grants Yoshi all, all of the three other powers of the other shells. So he can stomp the ground. He can fly and he can shoot fireballs. Although he can only shoot fireballs once and once he does, every other power goes away. So there you go. But the secret exit leads to the fortress. Bowser's fortress. This might be the le yeah, this is the level I hate. I rem remember I was talking last episode in in Chocolate Island that there was a level that I really hated. Well, this is it. And I thought it was Chocolate Fortress, but I guess it's Bowser Fortress. And just plow through here. And this is why. Mega Death Spikes and Tiny Platforms. So I would strongly, strongly recommend you come in here with um, a cape. It's not impossible to do with another power, but it's incredibly hard. And these fast moving ones are the worst. Wait for that potable. I knew you were coming. That might have been too late. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Getting the timing between those mega spikes and the potable is just brutal. And I have nothing with which to okay at least I can get a feather here oh well so much for that that didn't last long did it I'm so totally screwed you guys and I wasn't trying to commit suicide there but I don't know maybe it was for the best <laughs> This is going to end up being a long episode. Um, this might be too long. So we'll see what happens. But I might end up splitting this into two separate episodes. We'll see. We shall see. And it's not that these are long um stages it's just that there's a lot of things that make you sit around and wait for them to pass by like these mega spikes and these 
Potobos, you have to wait for them to go away before you move forward. You have to wait for the good timing. I'm dead. Yeah, I think definitely we'll split the video here. But you can see why I hate this level so much. Because it's poop. And nobody likes poop. Well. I don't. I, I don't. I don't like poop. I think it's gross. But if you like poop, then all the all the power to you. Oh gosh, that was dumb. Let's just go, Mario. Don't die. Oh, and speaking of Mario, um, I'm. This isn't gonna go up anywhere near. Um when this happened because I'm recording this in the middle of recording Secret of Mana. This is like December 4th today. Um, and sadly I found out yesterday that Danny Wells passed away and for those that don't know who he is, he's the actor who portrayed Luigi on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And of course I was right at the end. And of course I bounce off of Reznor. But I still managed to get him before the the bridge disappeared. But yeah, a little piece in my childhood, Danny Wells is is gone, and it was really sad. My friends and I were big fans of of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I grew up um, with the show myself. Um, for those that don't know, I I, I I'm not originally from the United States. I, I was born in, in England. And when I moved here, um, one of the first TV shows that I ever saw um, was the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. And that show really began um, my love for, for video games. Now we want to come down here. Ah, uh, we don't want to do that. We want to try and get all the way to the end of this hallway, which I did. Going through that door. Now this is one of the hardest, um, one of the hardest uh, exits to get. You've got to manipulate this coin snake. And I'm going to ignore that. Oh no. And I'm going to try and get in there, and I did. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I would be able to do that, but that's how you get to the secret ex er, yeah, the secret exit. I actually got it right that time. And it's really hard to do because you have to be really quick. First of all, it's hard to even get to that door. But ah. All right, let's go. We got this. I don't need that. I don't need that coin. So now we're not trying to get all the way to the end of the, the hallway. We're trying to get to this door. And that's the regular exit. Just as simple as that. That's probably the exit most players, if you've not been a, a Mario World player for long, that's probably the exit you're going to get first because it's easier to get to. Oh, you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's just go. And this area is probably the most normal stage, if you can call it normal, uh, in Valley of Bowser. Um, just be careful riding on these platforms because they count down. And... Um, if they reach zero, oh gosh, oh no, oh my god, I can't believe I managed to pull that off. I thought I was dead for sure there, but I made it and got to the midpoint. I'll take that fire flower because this feather is not going, or yeah, this cape alone is not going to cut it. But I am going to switch back to you. the cape, as you can plainly see. And that did me no good because, again, my incessant need to kill everything cost me my feather
I no longer have the will to be a superhero. Oh, hi, Bonsai Bill. Ah. And you could have gotten a one-up if you'd gone up there, but I don't... I mean, 92 lives? Do I really need 99 lives? Yes, I do! Why didn't I go for that one-up? <laughs> I'm so ashamed! And this one has two... two exits. You may be wondering, well, why does this... it looks like this area is almost done. Why does it need another ending? Not an ending! Oh my gosh, I'm... So silly. So silly. That's not a pipe you can go in. Oh. That's the pipe you need to go in. And unless you need a power up, I suggest not going in this pipe. But I wanted the cape, so I'm coming. I'm going in it. Because, and the reason why is obviously it sets you back out. It takes you back in the level. So, let's just come up here and we get a Yoshi. Yay! I will take that. And come down this way. You can hit that block. And if you're good, if you've got good timing, you can grab it before it falls in the lava. And off we go. You can grab those those boxes if you want, but personally, I don't think they're they're worth it. But um, here's what is worth it: if you want the secret exit in this stage, you must bring Yoshi with you. You must keep him through the entirety of the stage because you need his tongue to grab the key. And there you go. That's the secret exit. And the secret exit reveals both the star road and another um, way to the front door. But guess what? We're going to keep going. Because now we've got to beat the stage all over again. This time, you don't need to bring Yoshi. You could see the goalpost and the secret exit were right next to each other. I'm not going in. In fact, do I do it? I'm sorry, Yoshi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't. Oh, well. Hi. Well, that happened. I totally did not kill another m member of your species just now by letting him fall into the lava. Thank you for that one up. And off we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was quite, ri quite, quite, quite ris whiskey. Quite whiskey of me. What am I, Albert? Elmer Fudd? Quite risky is what I was trying to say there before I failed miserably. Darn it, stop hitting it when it's a flower. I didn't want... Oh. Well, I managed to get two one-ups. I'm so close, I only need three more. Right, and that leads the way to Larry's castle. Yeah, that's why not. We'll just do Larry's castle and then we'll call it an episode there. So we can do Bowser's Castle. Now this is another one of those levels that isn't technically very long, but it is because you have to wait for this block snake to come around all the time. It's it's not technically a, um, an auto-scrolling stage, but it, it kind of has the same feeling as one. 
But there's a nice little secret at the end, which we'll figure out as soon as we get to it. Which might be a while. We could be here all day, folks. I don't even know. And personally, I think this one is easier than the other um, block snake that we had to go on. I forget which castle that was, but you remember there was another block snake we had to um, we had to walk on and maneuver through. But we're already through it, and you can see you, all you have to do is dodge maces. You don't even have projectiles coming at you. But if you come down here. There's a, um, oh god, I managed to do it, <laughs> I wasn't sure, I was not, sh oh gosh, it's Magic Koopa, of course Magic Koopa is going to show up, but if you have a cape, it's not really that big of a deal. I don't know if you can kill Magic Koopa with the tail swipe, oh no, well, now I don't have a cape. And you can't kill him with fireballs, that's for sure. Magic Koopa was always one of my favorite enemies in Mario World. Even though he was a pain in the butt. Oh no, 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 no. Why are you showing up right now? I don't like it. But here he is. Here's Larry, and there he goes. Just like that. In castle number seven. Done. And that's the Koopalings. All all accounted for. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Mario is the strongest man in the world. He's Superman. Mario has defeated Larry Cooper in castle number seven. All that is left is Bowser's castle, where Princess Toastal is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to Dinosaur Land? You betcha! But in the next episode, because... This episode has gone on long enough, and Bowser's Castle itself is actually pretty long. I'm going to see if I can um, go through um, all the different areas of the castle. So, next time, we'll look forward to that. I will see you then.